Hello YouTube, I'd like to demonstrate four different types of nitinol that we have available for you today. Um, we have three different thicknesses and we have two different transition temperatures. Uh, we have 0 0.5 millimeter diameter thickness, uh, 70 degrees Celsius transition phase that comes on the spool. Um, then we have a thicker version of it which is rated at 80 degrees Celsius. This is a one millimeter diameter for comparison. Then we also have a monster two millimeter diameter right here also 70 to 80 degree Celsius transition phase and we also have a one millimeter diameter body temperature roughly 40 degree Celsius transition phase nitinol. So to demonstrate uh, this is the most common size that we sell, the uh, 0 0.5 millimeter thickness. Um, for example, this is a 5 foot baggie of the snitnol. You can take it, you can crumple it up however you like, do whatever you want to it. And it comes pre treated straight from the factory. Um, I'm going to be using a heat gun. You can also use a lighter. And yeah, it straightens out just like that. Now, for comparison, this guy, the 80 degrees Celsius uh, one millimeter version. Keep in mind, nitinol does not absorb heat very easily, so because it is thicker, even if they're rated at the same temperature, it will need more time or more heat to react. However, it will have more force as it does so, so there are benefits. So this was one millimeter diameter, 80 degree Celsius transition phase. For comparison, this is also one millimeter diameter, but this is a 40 degree Celsius transition phase. And what's interesting about this one, the very first thing you notice is it is more stiff. So it does have more spring-like characteristics to it at room temperature and I believe one of the reasons for that is because it is closer to its transition phase than the higher temperature nitinols. Um, it also doesn't change its shape as easily so you kind of have to force it more to get it to bend into the shape that you want. However, as you just noticed, they will react a lot faster to the same temperature. And last but not least, we have our monster 2 millimeter 80 degree transition phase. It is very ductile, it bends easily. This would probably be better for a heavier duty, hotter operating apparatus.
And there you have it. Two millimeter, 80 degree transition phase nit null. Now keep in mind, if you dip the entire nit null in a liquid or run a current through it, it will react a lot faster than me trying to heat it with a small lighter or a heat gun small section at a time, but I hope this demonstration was useful to you and uh, thank you for choosing Next Metals for all your nitinol needs.